So here we have clips of the mould making in progress. Um, the mould has a little spline through it uh, for easy marking of uh, where the sun should be and where the focus is when the mould is taken out. Um, the mould gets filled with cob and uh, the mechanical mathematician is um, the post and beam structure attached at the front. Um, here's uh, a hole was cut out prior to putting in the cob and so that we could take out the center of the mold um, for attachment to the equatorial mount. Here the cob is being filled in and um, the curve is decided by the um, mathematician which is the string and um, uh, metal rod. So here is the um, the reflector, the plastic reflector put in, which is a reclaimed sign, and um, about uh, one square foot of uh, material was cut out. There's the back of it. Uh, kitchen foil was glued onto the plastic, and a frame was put on to keep it uh, rigid before the um, reflector was taken out of the mold and tested. So it's one forty-two. We're doing the first test here, and I've totally set up, kind of, not so good. Anyway, there's the focus point, roughly, so um, it's just um, focusing in on this pot of water, and I'm just uh, giving it a few minutes. Still uh, clouds all over the place, but we've had a little break now. So we'll see what it does for 10-15 minutes. Anyway, it's first test and uh, pretty pleased about that. Thank you. So I took it off, lined it up, and we had sun a couple of minutes ago. And it worked. Uh, pleasantly surprised because it isn't perfectly um, aligned with the mould but it did work and I'm really really pleased about that so now I've got to figure out how to put it on the equatorial mount it will be on equatorial mount so here is the attachment to join on to the equatorial mount it's pretty straightforward I've just a piece of a hole cut in the, um, the cob and uh, this thing here has an arc of a circle cut in it that um, uh, the center of the arc is the focus of the um, the um, solar cooker and I have lines on it the vertical line is the line that I will use to point at the sun and these horizontal lines are to make sure that I know where my focus is and to set it up I'll set these up so that will be just under my um, accumulator the focus will be and uh, it will be on equatorial mount here is the reflector with a few braces added and it's uh, attached on here here and at three places at the other side with smaller screws to uh, the wooden plate behind it's also, these little braces are attached with two screws here so that they are rigidly attached. Two screws here as well. And then I have a couple of cross braces along it. Or sorry, I have only one. But I think it's sufficient to keep the whole thing pretty rigid. Anyway, the vertical line points to the sun. will of course be pointing in a different direction when, uh, when it's um, all up and running and the horizontal line, well not horizontal, but they point at the focus. So it's all ready to go. Towards the end I ran out of mud basically, so these should be up like this, but I'm not too worried because it's a first attempt. So this probably should be up higher, but I'm not going to bother. The, the middle of the reflector is pretty close to what I want. So here is my polar mount. Um, I made it with scrappy scraps from my yard, 
So this is the leg of a kind of a desk that uh, got abandoned many years ago, going into a reclaimed, I um, can't remember what you call those things that the little kids run around on. And uh, this is um, at 50 degrees, or sorry, 49 degrees, hopefully, um, to, you know, for um, going up uh, towards um, the North Star. So this is my latitude, uh, 49 degrees, and going exactly due uh, North Pole. Um, this is this can it can't be moved now because I, I put a screw in it. But I basically got to the right position for today. And this is the seasonal adjustment here. Goes along here. This is um, I. This is the thickness of uh, the saw blade, and this goes through to the other side for a bit of rigidity when you're um, doing your adjusting. Then you just screw in the screw when you're happy with your adjusting. So eventually I'll get a thumb screw for that. Um, it, this is what the um, equatorial or polar mount means. It spins on this type of axis and the sun is not out now so we're safe enough here. And I'm basically, I would be at the focus right here. So unless the sun burst through the clouds and not going to get blinded um, and this is how it moves so so this line here would be following the sun and um, so sundown it'll be just behind that house so that'll be a good check um, I might not have my um, my dish lined up exactly with north but I'll figure that out later anyway this is how it moves and uh, once you point it at the sun in the morning using um, you know you set it up in the morning uh, with this and then once you point it at the sun um, it should be fine for the rest of the day slowly turning around at 15 degrees per hour and how you're going to achieve the 15 degrees per hour would be down here something say some sort of wheel I'm going to be able to adjust this for um, balance if I put a weight here through through here I'll be able to put a weight and uh, far enough out I can just balance it so that everything will be balanced and uh, we won't have it flopping over to one side like that so I will just have a, a, a wheel here and something to move it at 15 degrees per hour and then we've got uh, what we want to achieve we'll have um, it following the sun and the focal point hopefully I got it right that the focal point is right up here in line with the axis up about uh, camera level now so uh, I think there's minor adjustment to be done but I'm um, fairly sure this should be okay anyway if the sun ever comes out again we'll be able to check it so there you go this is it so here are a few pictures of the equatorial mount. Um, it's a pretty unusual one I made because of what I had, my scrap material. And um, the arc of the circle is centered on the focus of the parabola and that's one of the keys to it.